what is up Star Wars fans welcome to the Star Wars stop in this video I'm gonna teach you how to absolutely annihilate with the droid tank the AAT now this thing is a game changer and can get you a lot of kills very fast see how much I just crushed this big group of clone troopers right here first let's start off with the abilities now it gets linked fire which lets you fire both your lasers to simultaneously do really high damage fast fire rate siege mode gives you a little bit of a sniper can you can sit back and you know use his artillery and high explosive shells which literally fires a couple grenades or rockets whatever you want to call them it's a very close range ability though so yeah getting into the cards i'm going to recommend now i like all the kind of repair cards repair systems and health boosting cards because you already put out an insane amount of damage with this thing so reinforced hull is excellent and finally um the next card that is going to help you is protected critical systems your little weak spots that you have when you're in a tank now don't get me wrong, all the cards are good, but the thing is, this thing already puts out such an astronomical amount of damage that you're just, in my opinion, gonna want the health because there are things that can kill you in a hurry, you know, whether it's enemy starfighters or combined arms fire, you do wanna be able to get your health back fast and you do wanna have a lot of health and be able to take more damage. Now, getting to the first ability, your left bumper ability, again, like I said, it just makes the lasers fire simultaneously, so it just lets you kill stuff a little bit faster. It helps you just get those kills, drop those enemies a little bit faster. You see the recharge time on it's really not that bad. You can kind of use this, you can kind of spam this thing almost, but I would recommend waiting until you have honed in on a target to actually activate that ability. Now, the middle ability, like I said, Siege Pulse, it kind of gives you this cannon that you can almost turn your tank into a little bit of a sniper, but you sacrifice mobility when using this. You're kind of stationary. It does have a little AoE to it too, so it's not just you have to be laser pointer accurate with it, but Think of this as a great ability when you have a good amount of cover because, um, and as you can see here, how fast I'm able to take out this ATR too, just to demonstrate the damage on it. Um, so like I was saying, remember, you have no mobility when you're using this thing, so you want to be smart. You don't want to run into a big group of enemies and activate Siege Pulse. That's not the time to use it. The rockets, like I said, you can use them close range. That's the time to use them, but they really just don't have too much range to them. If you want to get a little more range out of them, aim upwards and they will hook down or they'll loop down rather, kind of like a basketball and they'll hit targets that are a little bit farther. So you want to you want to get them, you want to aim a little bit high if you want to get those rockets to go farther. But in general, I don't find the rockets too effective to be honest. When you're up close, then it's a good time to use them. But in general, the actual base fire mode on this tank, and if you combine it with your left bumper ability, it's gonna get you an insane amount of kills, and it's really all you kind of need. Rockets are just kind of thrown in there. Look at how many kills I just got right there. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, catching all these clone troopers off guard, it's just game over. There's really nothing they can do. And as you can see, I took a good chunk of damage here. I'm gonna run that clone trooper over, because I, and that is the thing you can't do with this. You can run enemies over, and your this vehicle is so big that it's so easy to run enemy troopers over. Look at, I take up almost that entire walkway. The other thing to say is that this thing is absolutely godly at taking out enemy LAAT, so you should do that. Now, one of its weaknesses is these ATRTs, believe it or not. If they if they are ganging up on you, or if they're smart and they can kind of get your weak spot, or whatever it is, the combined arms fire of them and their ion shot can drop an AAT surprisingly fast, and they can get away fast after killing you, so you do need to watch out for them at times. Even though you can kill them, obviously the Y-Wing, there's nothing you can do against that. That thing will drop you, and I don't even have any tips for you on how to avoid Y-Wings. As you saw there, when I was flying that Y-Wing, literally one missile barrage killed the, the enemy droid tank. I mean, that's insanity. That's a lot of damage coming out of those proton torpedoes that the Y-Wing drops. No advice there. Just kind of, if you get, if you see one honing on you, try to be mobile don't stand still because then you're an easy target for those proton torpedoes but in general if there's a good y-wing pilot and he knows what he's doing and he doesn't like you he can kill you very fast but i suppose it's only fair that the droid tank has some sort of weakness because of how godly it is in general but that is it kind of for my tips guys i hope you enjoyed this just a quick guide to how to destroy with this droid tank it is exceptionally good and one of the things you should definitely be doing if you're playing this is take out the laats for your enemy for your team because they will love you for it but that is it for this video guys be sure to rate like comment subscribe stay tuned for tons and tons of battlefront have an awesome day